Hey, it's Achim from American Runabouts. As you can see, the Invaders back in an upright position. We turned it around. Uh, lower part came out perfect. And uh, so I can probably also see that this is kind of dull, so it's already sanded. And today is painting day. <coughs> Sorry for my voice. I'm, um, I have a really bad cold, but I think it's okay. Um, you probably also see that uh, the filler cap thing is done. And um, yeah, I'll have a mask on for the rest of the day. So I'll just uh, give you a quick idea of what I'm going to do. She'll get a first coat of base coat in chocolate brown. Then I'll do all the detailing, so all the, the tapes going on. She'll get a coat of gold base on top of that. <clears throat> and then we'll start flaking. So first of all, gold flake on the gold. Uh, if that's on, tape's going to be removed and the gold's covered. Brown flake on the brown stripes, contrasting stripes, whatever. Then uh, all the, the, the masking's going off and all of this will be buried in three layers of clear. That will dry and uh, tomorrow we give it a sand, wet sanding, so to smoothen out all the um, all the bumps uh, caused by the metal flakes and then it will get two final layers of clear and then we should have a glass like finish and um, then she's done and on Friday she can actually go to Arlen um, where we will start working on the interior which will be an own video series so there will be a series um, entirely on the interior and I have to do a trailer next week for a customer so conversion from an American escort trailer to European laws so new brakes new aches etc etc so I'll show you a couple of things on that as well then there will be a series on the trailer build of the invader because they'll be built from scratch and the same thing will go on with the engine engine I already showed you it's this uh, 63 mercury that uh, needs an overhaul and a paint job and uh, then this thing's finally ready. Probably I'll also do something about the tow vehicle, but that's uh, in the beginning of next year. And um, so today we'll start with the paint job and I'll start painting now. Okay, as you can see, flakes are on. Um, I'm pretty happy with the result. You can see the black stripes, um, contrasting stripes. So the next step now is to cover all the gold and um, flake the, the, the black stripes. And then, um, yeah, start clear coating and then we're almost done. A couple of people asked me about how I applied these flakes. So first of all, the flake size is 0 0.2 and 0 0.6. So I used the small ones. Um, 
I, it actually I combined the two um, three parts of the small ones two parts of the big ones and the reason for that is that the small ones actually are good for the coverage and the big ones actually uh, bring the effect this this pop out uh, the classical flake thing and actually the color is slightly different I mean it's the same color when you order them in the catalog but it looks like the big ones are a little bit more goldish um, whilst the small ones are a little bit more like copper anyway I think the result is great um, the application um, I did with this gun which is a, um, a suction devilbis with a 1.8 tip and there's a couple of um, of balls from a ball bearing in so when you shake it you can um, when you shake it these balls actually steer up the flakes and um, so in my opinion that's the, the, the best uh, gun to apply the flakes um, as I said it's a 1.9 tip and um, yeah that's the way I do it and another important thing is that I do not mix the flakes into clear coat because clear coat uh, takes a while to dry it builds up pretty high so I use um, clear binder which means um, I have less build up it's much more sticky and in the end I mean I basically just want those flakes to stick to the surface I don't want to build up big layers so this is three coats of um, of binder with flakes and now I will get uh, three coats of thick clear coat this is a clear coat will have no thinner so I want it as thick as possible and uh, after that it's gonna get sanded flat I'll show you that later on so till it's completely dull again so this all the all the low spots have to be gone or actually all the high spots have to be gone so you don't see any low spots anymore and then it gets another two layers of um, UV protective clear coat on top and then a final polish and then the, you get this um, this glass like finish all right now comes the nasty part I have to um, tape off all the gold this especially in the small parts will be a bit of a pain and then um, we start flaking again All right, 12 hours later, as you can see, the clear coat's on. Um, it was a <laughs> painstaking process yesterday to do all the, um, the masking in between those lines. But you can see the flakes are on in those stripes. Turned out a little bit more purple than brown. Um, it's always interesting to, to see how these flakes turn out because, you, I mean, you get an idea when you buy them but uh, depending on the base you have underneath uh, the thickness that you apply them is always a little bit of a, of a surprise how they come out I'm pretty happy with it so as I said three coats so more like four coats of thick clear coat is on so now we're going to sand it down with some 400 grit um, wet sandpaper and um, then uh, get some final layers of clear on it and then we're ready All right, it's December 2nd and she's ready. 
finally not like uh, a little bit of sanding a little bit of clear la 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 she will be she is ready and um yeah the, the last update i gave you was when i put on the final clear coat so that's dry now there's a few minor spots that i'll point out in a minute where i probably need some wet sanding and polishing i have no idea what happened there but the the paint wrinkled a little bit i guess it's just too much paint on that uh on that spot and i had a bit of an issue with some tape that i used to um, mask off the stripes and obviously the paint was like too old or whatever so basically I had some remains of glue from the tape on the boat that I could not get rid of, but it was it was very minor. So basically, I buried it in clear coat, which worked like almost everywhere. But maybe that was also an issue on on some of these spots. So rub rails on the rub rail. Uh, let me just grab the camera and I'll show you in detail. All right, now yeah, you can see here uh, came out really nice and shiny, and you can see some was my finger here's my finger some spots here and another couple of spots here where you have this i'm not sure if it really comes out in the camera here actually you can see it where you have a little bit of this um like a rough surface but i can i, I tested it on one pot uh, on one spot and i can actually um polish it out so the rub rails on uh rub rail turned out super nice as well and um it's actually polyurethane because um, I, I had a look for a stainless steel one, but they wanted like 80 euros per meter, which I found a, a little bit odd. And then on the same time, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a bump protection. So stainless steel is not known for uh, absorbing a lot of bumps. So this polyurethane stuff um, was a lot cheaper. Actually, I think it looks great. It came out really nice also around the edges and um, it absorbs quite a bit of shock. So if I bump the boat into something, um, it will be fine. Then you probably saw that the GW and Vela logos are on. I searched for those for more than a year and I couldn't find any. So Oli Linke from boatsign.de made those for me just by a picture I provided and they turned out awesome. And as you can see, it's three-dimensional. It's not a sticker. It's a real logo. Um, he also made the, the boat name, the 71. Um, yeah, what else? I ended the rub rail and some polished aluminum caps that I made actually for this project. <coughs> uh, fuel caps on. Yeah, and you can actually see that the paint turned out, yeah, re really nice. I mean, it's probably stupid if I say that because I did it, but I'm quite happy with the result. So she'll go on a, on a rollable cradle now, and then we'll load her and uh, bring her to Alden's workshop, and I'll start making a series on the interior. Yeah, the tank's still not in, um, but that's basically just putting it in and getting the hose over it. And then obviously I have a, a few small things like the bow light, and then we'll uh, yeah, start with the interior and I'll start working on the engine. The engine I think I showed you, engine is, sits here, uh, what is originally white. It's a 63 Mercury, and um, that will be the next project. I'll give you updates on this as well. And yeah, good, it's first first advent, so I'll go home now, have some coffee and cake, and uh, we'll keep working on this tomorrow. Just wanted to give you the final update and show you how it turned out before we load her. All right, have a nice Sunday, see you next time.